It wasn't really until um, a few years ago that I tried my hand at songwriting, and um, partly because I didn't know if I knew how to do it, and I think it was a scary thing to kind of navigate. Um, but then once I started doing it, it felt really cathartic, and it was a great way to process feelings, and um, I find it to be pretty therapeutic sometimes. Brownie, my love. writing your own songs makes it makes all the difference. It makes it so important and um, you're able to perform it with a different sort of amount of being genuine and finding backstories to really emote and um, I tend to, I mean this record I've written I think is very theatrical um, and so to have these backstories that I can connect to as an actor as well on stage because really all performers are doing a little bit of acting and um, it makes it feel more genuine because they're stories that feel personal to me. The record as a whole is a concept yeah. album called yeah. Rattlesnake, and um, Rattlesnake is all based around the life of this Colorado hometown hero, a true story um, about a woman named Rattlesnake Kate. Mm -hmm. And she became notorious in the 1920s for a battle with the rattlesnake migration, where she, um, to protect herself and her three-year-old son, she killed 140 snakes and lived to tell the tale. And so that sparked my interest in um, partly because it was a so it was a story that wasn't very well known even in Colorado, um, and it got me thinking a lot about how Western stories are so based around men and around men's stories, but the stories of Western women have yet to be told, with the exception of like Annie Oakley. The one souvenir we have of Rattlesnake Kate's life is this snake dress that she made from the snakes she killed. So it's like this sort of flapper style gown that's made from snakeskin that she stitched together herself and it's been preserved in a museum and that's where I came across this story. But it sort of occurred to me this woman that was so multi-dimensional and strange and amazing and had all these stories to tell, she was also summed up by the way she looked and the clothes she wore. That someone even like that could be summed up by her outfits. You know, we are more than what we wear and what's on the outside. And so to write kind of this spooky, dark song about those feelings, um, that's where Perfect Gown comes from. The perfect gown Does it flatter 
the perfect gown does it make you matter the perfect gown will it make them take you seriously the perfect gown will it be your mark on history Subscribe to War Memorial's YouTube channel to watch new attic sessions being released every month. Thanks for watching.